Hey guys, in this episode, I'm going to show you how I'm going to fix a MacBook Pro. This is a 2011 15.4 inch MacBook Pro. This was brought to me because it was just not booting up at all. When you hit the power cable, just nothing happened. It was brought to me by a friend who had taken it to the Apple store. Apple store said that they couldn't really do anything about it. They said that the hard drive was probably bad and they wanted to charge her a lot of money. And, you know, I, I told her that probably wasn't the best idea. So what we're going to do is we're going to just take the old hard drive out and then we're going to put in a new Samsung Evo 860 solid state drive. I made a video previously about putting the same solid state drive in my computer. Um, I'll link it up at the top here now. You should definitely check it out. It's had awesome performance. I've really enjoyed having it in my computer. It's made it so much faster and really just revitalized my computer, which was also a, a late 2011 model. So before I put this into the computer, I'm going to hook this up to my computer. I am going to uh, make sure it is in the right format and it's partitioned correctly. And then I'm also going to put Mac High Sierra on this hard drive before I put it in the computer. So then when I put it in, everything should just boot straight up into High Sierra. Also, I'm going to link all of the products that I use in this video down in the descriptions below. And if you have any questions or comments, please just leave those down in the comments and I'll get back to them as soon as I can to help you with your problems if you're having similar problems with your Macs. Okay, so to partition and to get this SSD set up, what I'm using is a SATA 3 to USB connector in my personal MacBook. Um, I'll leave a link to in, in the description about what I use for this connection. And so what we're going to do is we're going to plug in the USB into the computer. It's going to say that it's not readable by the computer. This is exactly why we're doing this, because if we were to put this in the back of the other MacBook, it wouldn't be able to read it because it wouldn't be um, partitioned correctly. So what we're going to say is we're going to initialize. And that's going to bring this up. We're going to go to the external hard drive, which is the Samsung SSD. And what we're going to do is we're going to hit erase. And then we're going to format it as Mac OS extended journaled. So we're going to hit erase. And then it's going to format it correctly so that we can use it here in the future. Now you can see that it sees it as an external drive. It's asking me if I want to back my computer up to it using Time Machine. I don't, so I'm going to say don't use, and now we can see that it's done. So this is the first part. Now our computer can understand it, it can read it. Um, it is now partitioned correctly. Okay, so after the SSD is partitioned correctly, what we want to do now is we want to put High Sierra onto the new Mac. So how we do that is you first you need to go into your app store and you need to download the Mac OS High Sierra installer. Then once it's downloaded, it'll pop up the installer right here. Um, what you want to do is you want to hit continue. You want to agree to the terms. But when you go to install it on the drive, you want to go to show all disks and you want to install it on the untitled disk or the disk that you named your SSD um, to put it on. So this is going to require your password and then it's going to take a couple minutes. But what it's going to do now is it's going to actually put the Mac OS High Sierra um, installer onto the new hard drive. So at that point, we would put it into the back of the new Mac and when we boot the new Mac up, it'll then walk us through installation processes as it would with a brand new computer. So we're gonna wait a few minutes and then put it into the back of the computer. Okay, so at this point, we have our SSD that is partitioned correctly, and it also has the Mac OS High Sierra installer on it. Um, what we gotta do now is just take out the old hard drive, put the new one in, plug it in, and then see if she is ready to rock. So to take the old one out, first you just have to take out this bracket, which just has two screws. I'm using a Phillips uh, 00, sized screwdriver to take this out 
Again, I'll leave a link to this screwdriver in the description. So once you take that out, you're gonna slowly and carefully take the SATA off the front. Um, what we're gonna need to do now is take these four little bolts off and then put them onto the new SSD so that it goes in correctly. Okay, now that we have the little screws in, we're gonna just do everything in the opposite order that we took it apart. So you wanna connect the SATA adapters. We're gonna put it in here, put the connector on, and then screw the reconnected battery, screw the back back on, and then we'll start her up and see what she looks like. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and turn it on. We just plugged it in. So it looks like it starts up right away. Hopefully we'll see a little Apple symbol and have the startup process here soon. As you can see, it is loading and looks like everything's running correctly. So we have installed Mac OS, but we haven't gone through and filled it all in. So it should prompt us to walk through the steps that it normally would upon you know downloading a new OS system or anything. So we're gonna actually leave it here because we want whoever's gonna take this over to be able to go through and put their own information in. So this will be the end of the video. As you can tell, this was just a simple um, hard drive issue. You know, we put a, a new SSD in it, so this computer will actually just probably be faster and work better than it did previously to the hard drive failing. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I mentioned before, if you have any questions on the products I used in this video, those should be down linked in the description. And if you have any comments or you have experiencing some kind of issues with your own Mac that you can't figure out, put a comment down in the comment section below. And if I can't help you, I'm sure there will be others that will to help you, you know, get your Mac back up and running. I appreciate you for watching. And until next time, I'm signing off.